serve me on a red carpet. Um, you can see my scars, um, even though I have makeup on them. They're a bit harder to cover because they're rather fresh. Okay. Now, after this, in April of 2015, you returned to Australia with Mr. Depp, did you not? Objection leading. Overruled, I'll allow it. Thank you. Uh, yes, we did. Okay, and, and tell the jury about that trip. Well, after, after Johnny was able to get clean off of the coke and the other drugs enough to get the hand surgery he needed, there commenced a period of time of sobriety for Johnny. He, uh, his doctor had fired him and then came on when Johnny agreed to get clean. Objection, so hearsay, non-responsive. Don't, don't say what, I mean, we've already had, Your Honor, we've already had the testimony from Dr. Kipper, but don't say what Dr. Kipper did. Just, just tell the other part. Just don't say what somebody else said. Okay? So there was this period of sobriety after that, um, and Johnny was very committed to being clean and sober, and I thought we had finally done it. We finally did it. We were through it, and it, we were never going back, meaning it was he was going to be clean and sober for good this time. And we had a wonderful period of, you know, we fell back in love, or deeper in love than we were before, it seemed. If things were so good. We were talking about a future again. We were talking about having kids. I, I mean, when Johnny wasn't using it, it was so peaceful. We had such a we had a good time together. We went back to Australia like that in that state, and had a few months. We even had my parents come and visit us in Australia, and we were talking about babies and about buying a, a farm and you know buy, looking for homes in California. And we were in a really beautiful, peaceful period. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Now, how did you did you stay at the same place that you did the earlier time? In Australia? We went back to a very remodeled version of that home. I mean, remodeled, very cleaned up version of that home. Uh, same walls, same structure, but looked a bit different, as you can imagine. How, how did you feel going back to that home, given what had happened in March, early March? You know, the, the, home, the home isn't the problem. You know, you're, if you're living in domestic violence, you don't just not go home. You know, you don't just not go into the kitchen just because you were slapped in that kitchen. People living in domestic violence live in their homes. It, it's, that's almost, you know, the home isn't the problem. That's the normal part of your home. And for me, you know, Johnny was my home. Where we were a couple was my home. Um, and that home was often really violent, it, but it wasn't the, the structure itself, it was Johnny. And when we went back to Australia, that home, Johnny, was in a, a completely different, you know, he had done a complete 180, clean, sober, present, calm. We were peaceful. I mean, any, any of the, the gripes and the problems that he seemed to have about me um, went away when he was sober. And so we had a really, we, we managed to go back to that same house but in a very different way. It felt very different. June 16, 2015, the Magic Mike tour. Where did you go for that tour? While I was in Australia, I got the call for that press tour and went to Europe for the press tour for that movie. And, um, you know, I was nervous because problems arise when I'm having to work, when I leave. Objection, non responsive. Responsive. Well, I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Next question. Michelle, can you please bring up Defendant's Exhibit 447? I'm going to ask you first, does this accurately portray the scene depicted? Yes. Your Honor, I'm going to move the admission of Defendant's Exhibit 447. No objection. 447 in evidence. You can publish. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Michelle, if you could zoom in just a little bit closer. Amber, could you tell the jury about this picture? Uh, yes, that's me on the red carpet um, promoting the Magic Mike movie I was in. Um, you can see the scars on my body, on my arms. Okay. You can't see 
everything, of course, but. And Michelle, can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit 449? And Amber, does this accurately depict the scene portrayed? Uh, yes, it does. Your Honor, I'm going to move the admission of Defendant's 449. No objection. All right, 449 in evidence. Okay. And Amber, could you please describe to the jury what this portrays? Uh, this is, uh, you can see the scars on my arm from that attack. Uh, also around this time, um, it, Johnny was calling me on the, on the phone before and after, you know, while I was doing these press events. And sometimes I would be on the phone with him, um, kind of managing accusations about why I didn't pick up sooner, didn't text back sooner. And um, sometimes... I actually on this tour many times uh, had to delay getting out of the car or objection non-responsive. I'll, I'll ask that. How did Mr. Depp react to your going on this press tour? Uh, he, he was very upset with me. I just remember crying on the phone with him a lot and having to hang up to do go do press events. All right. Thank you. Now I'm going to take you to the Southeast Asia train trip that was your honeymoon trip correct yes it was okay and that was july 25 2015 yes now, it was okay michelle i'm going to ask you to bring up plaintiff's exhibit 162 it's already into evidence now mr mcgivern testified that he took this picture in july of 2013 would you agree objection with that? misstates prior testimony I, that's exactly what he testified to it was it Malcolm. wasn't it I, wasn't I, I have the transcript i i, I don't know go ahead and ask your it's question. mr mcconnelly is that is that correct uh, I believe I, I believe Malcolm Conley took this on on the Eastern I mean on the Orient Express Malcolm Conley not Travis McGivern I believe it was Malcolm on that trip with us yes okay and was it in 2013 or was it 2015 it was in 2015 okay July um, and please describe if you can what transpired during this trip well the uh, the train trip itself uh, was was peaceful um, up until Johnny wanted to start drinking brown alcohol. He had already started drinking champagne when I returned from the press tour. That's what he was he was drinking wine and champagne. Um, and um, when I when he wrapped on Pirates Five, the plan was for us to do this honeymoon. I, you know, I was walking a bit on eggshells because I know a pattern, but I was not wanting to accept that it was that we had gone back um, to a pattern at all. And so we were on this train, uh, and on the last night we were on the train. Um, after this was taken, this photo, um, Johnny and I got in an argument about him wanting to be allowed, meaning wanting him him wanting me to agree to him drinking um, liquor uh, and being okay with it. And uh, an argument followed that in, the, um, in, our, di in our sleeping car. Uh, Johnny uh, slapped me across the face and held me up by the, kind of got a hold of my neck and pushed me up against the wall of the um, cart. Uh, it was a small and narrow sleeper car and there were two beds one on each side he had me up against the wall um, while he was standing on the floor in between the beds and I was on the bed kind of half kneeling half standing trying to get his arms off my neck and he was squeezing my neck against the railway car for what felt like a very long time and every time he kind of would pull me away from the side of the car he'd Slam me up against my slam me up against the wall, and I remember looking down at him and trying to get his arms off of my neck. Uh, and I remember thinking that he could he could not even mean to kill me. You know, I remember being scared that he wouldn't even mean 